Hello everyone. Today I was going to be talking about a pair of these. Um, I got a lot of questions last week about these, uh, Nokia 6230i um, and the non-i version. Uh, in fact, someone even asked me about this. Uh, this is my trusty old 7250. Uh, these are all personal phones of mine. Uh, these particular ones uh, were my go-to Nokias back in the day. Um, I had the car kit in every single one of my cars um, for these, um, and I used them extensively. Um, I think actually one of these, probably not this one, but the previous one, um, I think um, actually the, the, the counter on it went over uh, 100 hours in the space of about four months. Uh, I was a real heavy user. But anyway, um, so I was going to talk about these, and I've even got a boxed one of these um, and a boxed one of the 7050 as well, which I will do an unboxing of um, at, a, at a later stage. Um, but then I discovered this, um, this bad boy, um, and I thought, well, I could do an unboxing of this. I mean, this is all still good, and I had a look inside. And uh, this is all complete and whatnot, uh, with the manual and the phone. And I discovered actually the phone is brand new because it's still got the little plasticky thing there. Um, but uh, the battery doesn't work. Well, I haven't tried it. I'm not not bothered sitting sitting and waiting to charge it. So I thought, okay, well I'm going to power this on. And then I realised, hold up, I ain't told you guys who actually won the pages yet. Um, I told you last week who won the actual phone, and I got a few people emailing me saying, Who won the phone? Who won the phone? After I posted last week's video. Guys, watch the video, dude. I mean, seriously? Um, I know I went on quite a bit, and it's a long video because there's a lot to talk about, but I mean, watch the video to see who won the phone. I, I, I can't say any more than that. Um, so, but the, the people who won the pages, um, I boxed the pages up um, yesterday. I was going to ship them out yesterday, I just didn't have the time. Uh, turns out um, I, had a, I had one more page than I thought, so I'm, I'm hanging on to these two, um, which I'll put here. And um, I, I thought I, I would sort of uh, share with you um, who, who won them. Um, oh, and, and then obviously I was going to talk about this as well. I thought, you know what, um, a few people have asked me about this, um, so I'll keep you guys on the boil. Just um, park that there for now. So, get my trusty YouTube book out with my YouTube pen, uh, and uh, I'm going to read you out who won the pages. Uh, quite simple, really. Um, so this is in no particular order. These were just picked at random, really. Um, not really uh, any preference into you know which country. I just, I mean, I got. I think it was 60, 63 different people emailing me, and I only had like a dozen or so to give away so a lot of cats are gonna be obviously disappointed but I only have so many to give away I mean it, I, I'm sorry if you didn't win uh, you know don't send me hate mail please because you know and I'm, not, I'm not into that uh, and you know I had a few people email me saying you know have a one have a one have a one uh, and then obviously I didn't respond because I'm gonna do this video and then I got people emailing me saying, why haven't you responded? So please guys, you know, be reasonable about it. It's only me doing this. I don't have a, a you know, a extensive film crew or admin people to look after my emails on this channel. Uh, you know, I wish I did, but uh, you know, we're only at about 1500 subscribers. So um, it's a little bit different if you have 15 million subscribers. But anyway, uh, in no particular order then, um, I'm gonna tell, tell you who won the pages. The first person is someone called Jen Ho, or Yen Ho, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. They're out in Malaysia. Uh, the second person was someone called Thomas uh, from Germany. Um, the third person was someone called Ariane or Ariane from France. Uh, the fourth person was someone called Hiro Toshi or Hiro Toshi. I'm not sure how to pronounce some of these names, guys. So apologies. Um, and he was out from Japan. Or he, she could be a she uh, w w was out in, in Japan. Uh, the next person was someone called Yaron or, or Yaron from Israel, Palestine, I think it's your own. Uh, then we had Reem out of the UAE, uh, then Rekha or Rika out of Hungary, uh, and then we had Andrew out of the US in California, uh, then we had Yane in the US again in New York, uh, and then we had Don uh, again in the US in Michigan, and then we had Paolo in Brazil, and then last but not least we had Andreas in Austria. 
those are the people um i'm not going to give any more details of those people because obviously you guys know who you are uh thanks for your support everyone um i appreciate lots more people emailed um you know to enter but like i said um i i only have a certain amount to give away and i can't please everybody so i'm sorry if you didn't win um it is what it is you know i mean come on these are only pages uh, someone did actually offer me 200 bucks for one of these um why come on seriously these ain't worth that much i mean i mean for what it is i i don't think these would cost 200 bucks new back in the day so um i i kind of you know i i turned down that offer just on principle really because if i start selling at what i'm supposed to give away then obviously you know it, the whole moral issue comes into play and everything and i've tried to be as fair as possible uh i mean there, there's a good selection of different countries you know so I, i'm trying to not favor anyone uh even though i had a, a friend of mine email me and say look you know um, I, I would like one of them i, I turned him down because i don't think it's fair so at uh, the moment you start you know fudging results and stuff it, it kind of you know it, it muddies the water and it, it doesn't make it fair on you guys that have subscribed you know so but anyway um in case you get one of these um just to show you guys how to open one up i didn't send batteries with them because batteries uh you can't send through the post or the mail i know a lot of countries don't accept uh any sort of battery uh the uk is pretty strict you can send some batteries you know in watches and little things like that but um generally they don't like batteries and electronics uh so there isn't a battery you're going to need um i think it's a double a or a triple a no it's a triple a so um and uh, just to show you guys because actually this took me some time to work out um i mean i'm not the, the i'm not a i'm not a retard or anything but um it, it's not obvious so pager um you got a little little switch there but you need to push this way and you just pull the the thing off and it comes undone it might be a little tight um but that's the way battery goes in and you got a power on and off switch with three positions just there so um i don't actually have a battery to hand to to fire this one up but um i think you guys saw that um two weeks ago or last week when i uh, when i fired one of these up uh, none of them are boxed some are in better condition than others again this is you know first come first serve sort of thing um so um, I've kept two for myself just because, I mean, they'll get thrown in with the, with the rest of the cell phone collection. And not that I collect pages, but given that someone offered me 200 bucks for one of these, um, if that offer comes around again at some point, um, I may decide just to sell one of them. Not for the money, just, you know, that person obviously wants it. So, uh, and that's not an invite for everybody to, to start emailing me asking me for, for pages, you know, for 200 bucks. That's just crazy. Please don't do that. Um, you know, so, but anyway. Um, so, uh, I know I've had you guys on edge for, for a week or two about this little bad boy. Um, most of you guys probably don't know what this is. Um, this is compatible with only a handful of Nokias. Uh, and this does have the Nokia logo, as you can clearly see there. Um, this is all metal. This is plastic. Um, it's got the Nokia logo just there. Will this focus? There we go. Um, and um, it is what it is. Um, you can probably guess that it opens up at some point uh, just to show you guys uh, unfortunately it's got a little ding there that shouldn't really be there but um, this is compatible with uh, the 7700 which I had uh, in the background I think last week or the week before uh, a few people have questioned me about that asking me to do a video I will do a video um, I think I even have the box for one of those um, I have more than two I know that much I have both the, the, the black and the white version um, I think I have one of each, uh, well, a pair of each one of those, um, at least. I know that much. I have at least four. So, um, and um, they come with a whole bunch of accessories uh, uh, for watching TV and, and all sorts of other stuff, uh, which I'll go into more detail when I make the video. But um, this is the keyboard that kind of works with that model uh, and with a couple of other models as well. Um, so let me show you how this works. So you got a little tiny button that you press. And then, but yeah, look at that. How many you cats have seen a Nokia keyboard flip open like that? In fact, if you have, drop me a comment because um, uh, I don't know anybody that's got one of these. In fact, even Valerie at a Nokia museum don't have one of these. Um, so, and this is genuine kosher stuff. Um, the batteries go in here. Um, let me close that back up. The batteries go in here, um, two AAAs I think by the looks of it. 
and um, I should have really got got a phone in the battery sorted so I could probably sync this with a with a phone via Bluetooth this is a Bluetooth thing um, the power button is just there you got a couple of funky little LEDs there which indicate um, that it's connected and whatnot um, but real neat thing this and the best part of it is you pull this bad boy out this is like a little drawer and this thing has got a little thing and it's like a, a sun lounger you can sun lounge your phone because it's got different levels look at that um, and then basically you can I don't have a, a compatible phone but uh, assume obviously this phone would be compatible you'd have it sat like so and you'd be you'd be the cool cat in the park typing away at your emails or, or SMS's or whatever you want to call it these days text messaging um, and that would be good to go and you could obviously fold this back up slide it slide this puppy back in and that would fit in your jeans back pocket I mean that might actually even fit in your shirt front pocket um, it's a bit big but I'm sure you could squeeze that in so pretty neat I think um, I don't know anybody that's got one of these um, so if you do uh, drop me a comment. I'd love to hear from you because I don't actually have any info on this. Um, I don't know the year of manufacture. I don't know all the compatible phones to it. I just have this. That's all. I don't have a manual. I don't have a box. I just literally have just this. So um, pretty neat. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this in fact or if you like any other uh, the other phones I've sort of shown you guys today. Um, and um, I'll see you guys next week. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, as always Thanks everybody for your support, much appreciated, um, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.